Hello everybody and welcome back to this channel. In this video, I'm going to show you what is a falling and rising wedge pattern, how you can recognize it in your price chart, how can you trade with this pattern, and finally, where you can enter and exit the market and put your stop loss. This is a graphical representation of rising wedge pattern. Rising wedge is a price move pattern forms when the market makes higher high, these are higher high, and also higher lows. And consolidate between resistant and support level. The two line of resistant and support must point in an upward direction which it is and intersect each other somewhere outside here from left to right the support line climbs at the greater angle than the resistant line and that is indicates that the higher lows are being formed faster than the higher highs the witch must have at least three touches on both sides, on a support, on a resistant, and support level. Three touches. That's minimum three touches. You can have more. If it be more touches, that means that the patterns are more valid. The trading volume keeps on diminishing or keeps on decreasing with advancing of trading activity and weakening of the demand at higher levels. And finally, pr price breaks from the support line and go downward. Now we have two patterns. One of them is, is continuation pattern. The rising which is in downward trend. And finally, it end up continuation downward. And again, the, the falling wedge is in upward trend. And after that, it breaks the support and go downward and make a reversal pattern. This is a graphical representation of rising wedge uptrend reversal pattern. If a rising wedge pattern is seen in an uptrend this is an uptrend it considered as a reversal pattern the, the 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 pattern goes from upward and bounces inside and finally going downward so it's a reversal pattern the price trend bounces inside the wedge and the contraction of the range indicates the uptrend is losing strength so look at the ball how it uh, how it works it while it's going it hit the two support and resistant and finally after the losing strength it break the support and with a little pullback it goes out this is the place that you can exit the market this is a graphical representation of rising which downtrend continuation pattern if a rising wedge is seen in a downtrend it considered as a bearish pattern as the price fluctuate becomes narrower into the correction indicating the price is slowly losing strength and resulting a continuation pattern so look at the look at this motion that it goes along the pattern along the pr price pattern in downtrend and it goes inside the witch hitting the both resistance and support level more than three times and finally break the support with a little pullback and exit the the witch downtrend downward this is the place that you can exit the market.
This is a graphical representation of falling wedge pattern, and it's seen in two form, reversal pattern and bullish continuation pattern. Falling wedge is price pattern forms when the market makes lower lows and lower highs and consolidate between two converging support and resistance line. These two lines must intersect each other at one point from left to right and also point in downward direction, both of them. The resistance line decline at much greater rate than the support line. And that indicates that the lower high are being formed much faster than lower lows. The wedge must have three touches on either side, support and resistance line. Can have more than that. If it be more than that, it means the pattern is more valid. The trading volume decreases from left to right in falling wedge pattern and also the trading activity is slowed down due to narrowing the price around here. A falling wedge signals a bullish reversal, for, for example, bullish reversal here and a bullish pattern here. And finally, the price breaks the resistant line and go upward. This is a graphical representation of falling wedge downtrend reversal pattern. If the falling wedge pattern is seen in a downtrend, it considered as a reversal pattern and shows the downtrend is losing steam as the price trend contraction moves from left to right. Look at the motion that you see that it goes along the price trend, hitting the support and resistance level three, four times, and it contract and finally it hit the resistant level, break the resistant level, have a little pullback and go upward. This is the place that you can enter the market. And this is the place that you can have as a stop loss, the last swing lower low. This is a graphical representation of falling wedge uptrend continuation pattern. If the falling wedge pattern is seen in an uptrend, consider it as a bullish continuation pattern. That's a continuation pattern. Resulting the uptrend is losing strength while the price moves from left to right. Now, Look at the motion that it shows you exactly what happened. It goes up, the price go up, it enter the falling wedge, hitting the support and resistance line three, four times. And finally, it breaks the resistance line, have a little pullback and go upward. This is the place that you can enter the market. And this is the place that you can have as a stop loss, the last swing lower lows. This is your finance and CCO stock. And this is a, a, a rising which the price moves upward and finally comes inside this which and moving back and forth and finally break the support and exit downward. We have a little bit pull back here and goes downward. That's the place that you can exit the market. And this is the place that you can have as your stop loss. This is your finance chart and Air Canada stock. D1 time frame, each candle represents one day of trading. This is a rising wedge downtrend continuation pattern. 
the price is going downtrend and enter the rising wedge and after a couple of swing that is hitting the resistant and support level finally it reaches here and break the support line and exit the wedge uh, going downward this is the place that you have to exit the market and this is the last swing uh, higher high that you can use it as your stop loss this is your finance wcp stock d1 time frame each candle represent one day of trading and this is falling which uptrend continuation pattern the price moves upward and finally entering the falling wedge after a couple of swing up and down and finally it it breaks the resistant line and exit the the wedge this is the place that you have to enter the market and you use this point as your stop loss this is your finance and bbd stock d1 time frame each candle represent one day of trading and this is falling which downtrend reversal pattern this is a downtrend and the price going inside the falling wedge and swing a couple of times and finally it hit the resistant line and exit the resistant line and going upward you can enter the market here and you use this point as your stop loss that's the end of this video thanks for watching don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe take care and see you next time